Well, it is my honor to be here this morning. Councilman Henry Nixon is joining us to present the Mayor's Merchant of the Month for October 2017 to the Basement Barbershop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we are joined with Quat standing here with Quattro to again uh, present October 2017 as the, you, the Merchant of the Month. We appreciate you having your business here in the city of York, adding to our economy or tax base. You can have it anywhere, um, but you've chosen to have it here. So I'm honored. I want to say thank you. And turn it over. Oh, there's that. Congratulations. <laughs> if you want to say anything. Um, I'm honored. I'm humbled. Um, thank you. There's many shops. I don't know why you chose us, so that's why I'm humbled. Uh, just thank you. And, um, Come check him out. They gave good cuts. They're right here in the corner of Princess and Pershing. And um, you can tell us what your hours are and all that stuff, but. Uh, well, we're open 9 to 7, Monday through Saturday. Black's here all the time. He's ridiculous. <laughs> but stop by. We're here. Awesome. Congratulations again. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Aquina Washington, Director of Community Relations for the City of York, and we are here standing in the basement barbershop celebrating them as Mayor Bracey's October Merchant of the Month here in the City of York. I'm here standing with Quatre here from the basement barbershop, and he's gonna share with us a little bit about the history here um, at the basement barbershop here in the City of York. So share a little bit about the history with us. Well, okay. My first memory of this building is my mom driving over here, four o'clock in the morning, sleeping in the car to try to be the first ones to get in because it was so busy to try to get in early, get out. That's my first wow. memory. And then my brother started cutting hair here. He was here for a long time. It was one of the most popular shops in the city during that time. And around that time, I remember looking at my brother, seeing the love and respect that he got for barbering and wanting to do that, liking it, appreciating it. And uh, the first shop that I started cutting hair at myself was here. And then I stepped away from here for a while, went with my brother for a while, and uh, I came back. I came back to run it this time instead of just cut hair here. So, it's special, it's a journey, it's a road. I'm, it's, it's very humbling right now because I, all, I still don't feel like I'm doing a good enough job. I can do better or I should be doing better. So to be awarded, I don't know. It's the oldest shop in the city for, as far as to my knowledge. Oh, I'm wondering, is it 100 years? It's, it's been a barber shop. I mean, it's grandparents. People come in and tell stories. You know, they're 85 years old and they're saying they came here when they were kids. Even before Marty, it was Smitty. Before Smitty, it was somebody. 1934, Tony Orr's uncle. You know, it's, it's, so I still don't know exactly when was the first barber shop established in this building, but it's always been a barber shop. Something for us to find out, something for us to um, delve into our history here in the city of York. So how does it feel being in such a historic place and having it as your own and being a barber here? Uh, it feels priceless. It feels priceless. This building is antique. And I don't know how you put a value on uh, the impact or the feeling that it gives. Not to only me, I'm sure there's, there's many people who feel the same way. I don't know how you put a value on that, so. And what um, barbering services do you provide here? Um, kids, adults, fades, mohawks, um, pretty much anything you want. Um, we don't do styling, you know, you know, we don't do a beautician or anything like that or any nails, but we do all the traditional barber services and uh, we try to give you the best haircut that we can. And what's your address here at the basement barbershop? 158 South Persia. 
And what are your hours? Nine to seven, Monday through Saturday. Sometimes Sunday, I might get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and is there a website or place people can, um, if they want to get a haircut, or do they just drop in and, and check out one of the barbers here? They can drop in, walk-ins are welcome. They can call, make an appointment. We're on uh, Facebook, The Basement Barbershop. They can look us up that way. They can call the phone, 717-900-7145. We're on Google, they can look us up through Google. So, yeah, there's many ways. If they want to find us, they, they can find us. <laughs> Wonderful. And one thing that we always like to hear from our businesses, especially our Merchant of the Month in the city of York, is you can locate your business anywhere in the world. Why do you continue to keep your business here in the city of York? Good question. Um, I'm from here, born and raised. Um, I feel like unlike many people who are from here, I actually lived in other cities for a while, so I got to experience different aspects. So I know that there's more to life than just your city, but there's no place like home. No place like home. You're right about that. You're right about that. <laughs> So um, again, on behalf of Mayor Bracey, congratulations again on being her October Merchant of the Month. Uh, you can find out more about the Basement Barbershop or Facebook, or you can check out our City of York page because we will be celebrating them the entire month here in the City of York. So again, congratulations and well wishes.